Hello guys, welcome back. Right where we left off, uh, we just we have just uh, completed um, the level codenamed Fandango, where we reach this alien burger star pub in the Insomnia something sector, and in the weapons test of the um, the thing is the targets are now kind of random garbage, and we don't know how much health they have. But yeah, let's check what's next in store for us. First of all, this guy is wanted, we don't really care. Sonny Ogiwachi, alias the chef, from Cabanos S5. Could be a 5. He's committed defalcation, whatever that is, hacking, drug dealing, piracy, illegal arming, and murder. Oh, and cannibalism. Okay. So there's Agent Lemon. I'm the new hero on the scene. Yeah, I didn't know there was a scene for uh, heroes. Strike on the concert, right? Those mother-loving brocks. I am the hardest gorilla around. place where the, the pirates are hiding, presumably Dictator Xoxx as well, will be a real nut. Okay. <laughs> we are also contacted by Captain Lashlo. Uh, I think it's actually spelled, uh, pronounced like Laszlo or Laszlo of Plop Resistance Movement. I've always found that name kind of funny. Plop. Our planet Plop Alpha has been taken by pirates. Help us, anyone. Well, we're going there, we're, we're going to help those guys. Um, and yeah, we are unfortunately in for a kinda boring ground mission. Like, when missions drag on for too long and there's nothing much happening, then you get stuff like this one. Boss in the end really sucks when you don't have strong rear gun. Buy weapon set controller to switch to weapon layouts because you won't use the rear gun effectively until the end duel. You can switch gun to rear manually in menu. As I represented uh, in the concert mission, you can just you know take off or just switch your guns uh, during the level. But it's not very comfortable, well, I guess. Weapon tip Skywalker laser gun. Nah, man, that's uh, that's overpriced garbage. We, we, we've tried. Oh cool, you can right click to go back to the, the weapons, uh, to the shopping screen, nice. So, uh, yeah, oh, oh, there's also a recton. Hurry up, please hurry up, mister. Your team is spending a lot of time cleansing this part of the galaxy from the pirate infection. But how is it actually linked to your mission to find my father? Well, beats me. <laughs> Kinda of trouble, man. Colonel Troubleman keeps me informed about the progress of the investigation, but it seems like you're not getting any closer. Well, can't talk now, we, we have to go to an unrelated planet of Plop Alpha and just kinda save the, the population from pirates. What new guns do we have? Jesus Christ Superstar 33. We get three cans of Barf Original. The galaxy's premier uh, Budget beer, I suppose. Alright, that's kind of a random description. I'm not going to grace it with re reading it out loud. I mean, good luck trying to hit anything with it. It deal, I don't know. Like, okay. About 15 hits to kill the, like, Ghostbuster reference, uh, snow 
and Ghost. I think that's a Ghostbusters reference, that thing. I re haven't really watched the, the movie itself. I mean, the original. I never, never even touched the remake with all female main characters. Oh, now you can, you know. Oh, we got the whale good, I guess. It kills stuff semi consistently, and it only costs almost a million credits. Only the final level has some like nice spread that kind of covers the entire screen. It seems okay in, in terms of damage, I, I guess. But come on. Unfortunately, <laughs> nothing really compares to the goodness that is dirt cheap radiators that cover the entire screen with lead. Yeah, that thing just obliterates. But so we have a contender now in the form of Acid Gun. Inhuman. Brutal Chemical Force. Yeah, the Acid Gun is okay. It has a very limited range, but it's re reasonably cheap, let's say, and uh, generates no heat. Which is cool, but nothing we really care about. I guess that means you can get rid of your, uh, what shall I call it, the global cooling system and not have to worry about it. The acid gun is alright, but uh, I think in, in Jets and Guns Gold it got moved way earlier in, in the game's progression because it's it's effective, but I still don't think it like really holds a candle to you know to our old standby. I'm just gonna go with the radiator times three, mark three. Um, in my first attempt at the let's play, I just went with the acid gun, and it was underwhelming. And now we have you know a ton of money that we can put into I don't know I'm I'd like to try out the charge generator but the range is very low I guess we can test out the mine deployer it's pretty cool in jets and guns gold but what's this where are the mines what do you mean there's only one mine yeah the mine deployer in this game is pathetic I mean the mines deal okay damage but like you only spawn one at a time. So yeah, trash. What do we get? What do we get? I guess we can buy the boss detector <laughs> while we have a few hundred thousand unspent credits. Uh, okay, let's go with the Monkey Maniac. I remember, I remember being kind of uh, fond of this one. It launches a nice huge pillar of fire upwards. So it can hit um, airborne targets, so that's pretty pretty neat. I don't think we need anything else. Like yeah, it tells you not to leave any money on. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go with the incubus. It's better than nothing. We should be like. Okay, I'll also give you the, the mission meter so you know how long this, this level drags on. Uh, but yeah, we have all we need to survive. Okay, I'll also get some extra comfort in the form of the Magneto. But here we go, codenamed Garden Warden. You've intercepted a message from a nearby Plop planetary system. Local rebels are calling for help against a numerous fleet of bandits who are building a very strong base on their planet crush them and help the local resistance movement. Yeah, I, I can do crushing. And here it is, one of the least remarkable tracks in the soundtrack. It's titled Little Green Man. 
I think it's my least favorite. This entire mission, by the way. Um, it was first... Uh, how should I put it? It was featured in the Jets and Guns tech demo, which was a thing that... Uh, I don't know, it, it's available online for download. And also there are recordings of that thing on YouTube. Yeah, it was... This is basically, like, I think, the first level Raking Rust made for the game. And I guess it shows, it's kind of just... It's really boring and nothing really happens. You can hang out near the top of the screen with the acid gun if you have it and just kind of rain it on everyone above and have a not so good time just waiting for it to be over. At least with the radiator we have to, you know, angle ourselves diagonally with the target we, try we are trying to murder. So the level is a little bit more interactive that way. So maybe, you know, using the, uh, the acid gun here is a mistake as it makes this even more of a slog than it needs to be. Wow, I almost ate that barrel. This one we won't. Those two rather. Oops, I missed one of those fighters. Oh well. Maybe we should have upgraded our GCS. But I don't want to get too attached to actually be able to cool my weapons. I wonder if the balloon... It detaches if you wait long enough. Oh no, I let him go. I was wondering if the balloon would also get a score multiplier. That's kind of a big loss. I felt that. Feeling a little bit of uh, grief over it, I guess. Good grief. Ah, okay, I guess. It was maybe like what? 8,000 credits? It's. Uh, I'll be able to live with that, probably. Like, look, this, here's a cool 10k to wipe my tears away with. Another 5k. I don't feel so bad anymore about letting that one fighter go. I guess the scenery is kind of nice. The the sky looks kind of like it's like paint, painted on like wallpaper on, uh, on the back on the background, but the the mountains are nice. All right, here's the first space pirate, Monty Buffoon's Deadly Circus. Who are you, friend? Just you have just captured Zombie Man, Mon Monty Buffoon, Buffon. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. I remember seeing a wanted poster for you. I think it was at the start of the game. Yeah, we are not really hitting the ground, but the magneto is... Uh, it's just nice to have for comfort. What's a screen shake? You always like that when it's not interfering with your aiming or maneuvering. And you know, just and Guns is no bullet hell. You typically can afford to eat a fair bit of... a fair bit of bullets because... Oh, look at those... of those enemies. I mean, troops. Yeah, yeah, basically the bullets in this game are the least dangerous thing. Collision is more uh, concerning as a source of damage to avoid. I'm surprised that uh, the frame rate uh, drops we're getting. Hmm, I'm surprised also that the um, the radiator isn't doing so hot as I expected to. Maybe the acid gun is uh, better than I gave it credit for. But yeah, we are almost at almost to the end. I think you don't die. I don't want to say that I'm certain because I keep eating those bullets from those like purple black fighters that descend from the top uh, yeah but we're very close now
Yeah, the balloons detach and you can destroy them for extra points if you have the firepower for that, but I don't. You see, I can destroy that balloon. Maybe the, the one that was like hanging out, the enemy, it's low to the ground. Maybe I would have the time to destroy the balloon. But yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Without that uh, extra money. Wait, did I? Okay, yeah, that's the boss that is like immune apparently to, uh, you know, to the boss detector. It doesn't tell you how much health it has. Didn't you need that checkpoint? It was placed weirdly anyway, <laughs> in the middle of the boss arena. Yeah, okay, we have narrowly beaten our our previous best, so as long as we do that, I'm happy. And yeah, we have been able to do that consistently, mission after mission. If only by a little bit, every time. I guess we just got lucky with the, the cash drops. The final showdown is within my grasp. The size of the base reported by Agent Lemon is enormous. It must be the main nest of that vermin. I'll equip myself on this plop alpha planet I just rescued, and then our team can move for the final strike. That's right, folks. The final showdown is finally upon us. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> We have only like passed six levels or seven. <laughs> yeah, okay, one more, uh, one more level this video. To our savior, hail to you, hero. Please be our guest, okay? As a token of gratitude, we give you seventy thousand credits. Nice. They gave it in the form of a golden. Hyper shopping card, card rather. Cool. Right, thanks. So, they also gave us their world famous plot fragmentation gun. Or one of those at least. Check it out. You will be prepared to be impressed. The legend is a legendary weapon of ancient buccaneers of plop. Gunfire spirals of extremely heavy cannonballs. Speed of projectile is too low to keep it moving forward, so it falls down and crushes everything below the gunner. I mean, it deals damage. Yeah, it's trash, and it costs a ton of to upgrade. It is a unique weapon, but I'm not going to keep it. Into the trash it goes. We, you can, we cannot buy it back anymore, it's lost forever. And, you know, it's for the best. Alright, let's get cracking. Uh, I don't know, like... 8754? No, it must be... Mm, like seven nine four five. Okay, in this case, the code is nine four seven five. You always like to see weapons in those crates, they are worth a ton. How about seven five to one? Very nice again we get the uh, gun that is worth a lot. And now let's check out on rather check up on our boy Zom zombie man. He was a serial killer and wanted criminal. Yes. Can extradite him or take the bribe he's offering to us. There's a risk. You have a 50-50 chance you'll get more or less money from Empire than you would otherwise get from the official authorities. So if you can save scan this and it's quick and easy. We would get we would have uh, 
195,000 credits if we just extradited him or extradited, I don't know how you pronounce it. So yeah, we're just gonna hope it, it says here more than 195. We didn't get loading. Not this time, again. We got less money. And again, only 5k this time. What? No, oh, it, it said load. Oops, sorry, I kinda messed up with the, the shortcuts. And now he, he gave us 3,000 more credits. That's, you know, that was very quick. I don't mind saves coming for that. And, you know, it's kind of insignificant, but it makes me feel better to know that I have extra value from ex, ex, from, from Game Bribe. Robert Pom Pampalini, alias Frankenstein. From Starport Albion. Ah, a Brit. Presumably a space Brit. Yeah, you know what? This reminds me actually. Uh, I asked Raking Grass at some point if um, Alcohol Prime is Earth. Because, you know, Codename Bandit, you might remember. Federal Experimental Labs, the second level. There is kind of a planet that looks kind of like Earth, but with like a bunch of, um, what do I call it, like rings of debris orbiting it. I asked them, hey, is this Earth? And they answer me, no, this is actually... All of uh, this game's story takes place far away from Earth. So a little bit of trivia. Nothing we see here is Earth. Hey, more, ga more guns. Blackfist Motor um, tries to win us over with promises of total destruction. By Free Cove. I see on TV. It offers a very well-made, heavy instrument in this product. We are fully engaged professionals, whatever the hell that means. Let's let's try this out. But we found all of this additional fluff. It sure likes a heck of a lot like the plop gun, but at least those bullets fly straight. Yeah, not impressed. Also, it, it costs a fortune to upgrade. Now it fires two of those. With a spread, so, you know, so it's not too useful for you. Now you get some big balls. And no targets. Oh, there is one. Oh, he doesn't even destroy. 5k health target in one shot, even though the fire, fire speed is kind of low. The Electro Ball is one of the rare weapons that only go in the rear slot. It, it, you know, it says that it offers a lot of power, but... Like, I guess it's okay, but it's very hard to control, so I'm not a fan of that. Also, they kind of just stay uh, where you, you know, they stick around for a while before self-destructing. The boomerang blaster, I never really used it. The fire speed is already garbage, but it pierces enemies. So, that's something. But yeah, <laughs> it has no damage. So... Like seriously? Bananas of doom. Overpriced trash. A lot of guns in this game can be described th that way. What even is the next mission? A ground mission. Do you save some money for our bounty hunter license. Yes, I did save some money for your bounty hunter license, Raking Grass. Thank you. Very cool. It looks expensive in the beginning, but can pay off soon. Yes, that is correct. Oh, final showdown. That's right. Yeah, okay. Time for the final level, I guess. 
except, except not really. Here. Uh, I'll get some radiators. I don't remember, remember what I attempted that mission with, but, you know, radiators are usually more than enough. Uh, I think this is one of the rare levels, one of the one of the few where the Remcon can actually be used to some kind of effect because there is one thing that can be controlled by it. Oh, oh, there's the mine web. Total, fatal, lethal. It's an advanced version of the mine deployer. This is the one that you actually want. Why is it not? Oh, there it is. You see it actually lay lays more than one at a time. Yeah, I just want the, the final upgrade where it like, kind of spams mines. And they actually deal acceptable damage. And you know, unlike in Jets and Guns Gold, here the mine deployer or just your bombs do not interfere with weapon cooling while you are holding the mine button, so it's free damage. It's, it's great, free real estate. We, we, we'll take it, I guess, because we are like sitting on a pile of money that we are not using. I guess I'll buy this circulus to protect myself with, why not? You know, it blocks shots. I'll get some extra cooling too. Now our nose is blue. Yeah, okay, I think that will be... That will be good. We don't really need extra health, I don't think. Famous last words. We'll see. Codename Harf. Our agent's info finally leads us to the main base. Dot. No space. A small geologically active planet, Erebus 666, hides an extremely strong military base on its surface. There's no evidence of the enemy's quantum cannon, but hopefully you will get a surprise there with Xox himself. Kill anything that moves. Ah, here we go. Chuck's name is... Lava Trouble Bubble. We ent are entering Curtex's military complex. Just like his uh, master, he too likes to. You know, he also gave himself a name that with some excess in it, but he could only afford one, which means he's not as evil as you know as his boss. The explosions of the mines kind of punctuate the, the soundtrack, sort of. Yeah, I feel pretty good. No one will be able to sneak past me. And here is, uh, you know, a robot truck that we can hack with the Remcon. It kind of just drives forward and just mows down anything in its path. Not particularly useful, but... Um, oh, also a little bit of trivia I wanted to say. So, you know, the soundtrack was done by Machine Supremacy and they did it for free, but uh, they included a bit of um, self-promotion because some of their tracks reference um, the melodies, or yeah, the, the, or the, the melodies in the tracks reference the the songs in their upcoming album. So, like this one. This song references... Uh, hang on... The name of the track was uh, Rise and the album is called Redeemer. It was basically the one that they released in 2006 so... or some thereabouts, you know. They were like preparing it at the time of, you know... of Jets and Guns and yeah. The melody used here is also used in, in, in that song. And there will be a few more references to uh, in, in this game soundtrack to the music that ended up on Machine Supremacy's uh, you know, official albums. Yeah, really being in the, the mind deployer, he stops everything that tries to slip past us. It's a good feeling. Oh, the 
big chopper opened fire on us, but I think the circus helped uh, to block some shots. I don't know how much damage the mines deal, but it seems okay. Especially when they are s s there are so many of them. I think it's about time we, uh, we meet our second space pirate. Maybe not. Oh, this is the place. The building at the bottom, the remnants of it, that I just destroyed here. Um, the building there bears a sign saying Treasure Planet in Jets and Guns Gold, and that's where you can find a hidden secret level. As a pickup. It's a kind of a glowing orb that if you pick it up, it unlocks a secret level. But it's kind of like this level, but uh, much faster and a little bit different. So yeah, secret levels, just like other secrets in the game, and you know, such as such as the secret rubber duckies. None of those things are in the vanilla game. Unfortunately, I kind of like the secret levels. Oh, there he is! Whoa, the mines really messed him up, didn't they? They seem to be kind of strong. The chef, right? Sonny Ogiwachi. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I'm sorry about, uh, you know, maybe collision damage goes both ways. <laughs> maybe that's how it works. If you kiss the mine, you're kind of... I mean, I would like to like hit some big enemy of the mines and see how much damage they deal. Like, really? Do we have the boss detector? Great. I could try it using it on the boss, I know it moves around. I'm very curious. Oh, you see those uh, launch bays for rockets? Yeah, one of them, the Venom 5, can be hacked with a Remcon. It's intact in Jets and Guns Gold. And if you hack it, it will launch, and after a moment it will like kill over and uh, explode dealing tremendous damage to everything on the screen, like in a flash of white light it will just clear the screen for you, it's very cool. It's a cool use of Remcon that they added in in gold only. And yeah, Remcon in this game is pretty much useless. I'm surprised really that we get those frame rate drops. Oh, and I apparently just removed a bunch of scenery, just kind of vanished the tiles out of the world. But yeah, boss time. Let's see how... Oh man, oh my. Is this the... Is this how much damage the mines do? Well, goodbye, Cortex. Hello and goodbye. That's kind of all in turn. It's the amount of damage. Oof. Yeah, just don't jump into them, friend. Oh god. I remember the... His machine guns did extreme damage. Oh, they're, they're gone now. But yeah, they barely tickle. I think the damage has been buffed significantly in Jets and Guns Gold. Man, I like. I, looks like I'm going for a bomb only kill. Or, I mean, technically they are mines. Come on, jump forward. You know you want to. Look at those. Come on, play Pac Man. Look at all those tasty. Yes, tasty, tasty mines. Okay, I, I grow bored. So yeah, the damage of the mines is actually kinda sick. Wow. I didn't use them in my first play, for now I feel like it's been a mistake. Hey, can I bind the fire button to... Actually, I don't want to fire the same button I... I launch bombs. And oof, look at that. Just... Uh, what's this? It's like uh, it's like 177 credits short from beating my result, but we also destroyed all of the enemies on the level. I don't know what the variant, where the variance comes from. 
You had some bad luck on the Rebel 666. Yeah, you tell me. We, we didn't even beat the high score. His slave Kurtex escaped, and I failed to find the quantum cannon. Or the kidnapped professor. The teams need new clues. There is an evidence that a hostile totalitarian regime of so-called Zogrims cooperate with pirate clans. I separated from the team and sneaked into... I think uh, the past... The past simply snuck into their sector several hours ago. I'll try to identify pirate ships and get any info about their routes or routes. Yeah, okay. So, you know the drill. First we open, then we end the video, and then we resume. I think that's the wrong order, because, like, nobody's going to stick around for this boring part. Ah, uh, well... Whatever. Okay, the code must be... Four. No, it's two seven four nine. Yeah, that's right. Oh, secret data. That's interesting. Stolen during your mission. I remember now that in gold they added a few weird tower-like structures that you can hack with the Remcon to get those data disks or data disks, but they only sell for like two thousand credits. So, kinda low. Alright, nice. Well, that was quick. So, 7503. Oh, and we get beer. Booze. Wow, there is a lot of digits that uh, fit the code. 350. Oh, I meant to input 3. 5. Oh, two, right? Oh, uh, sorry, I, I meant to do three, five, oh, one, two. Nice, we got a, get a lot of money again from the, the thing. And yeah, we also try getting bribed. We want the number to be higher than uh, 82. 682. Not good enough. Attempt number 3. Third time's the charm. Alright boys, that will do it for this video. A bit long. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.